Hi everyone, I have another book with you that I have enjoyed, big surprise, that I really like. So it's called The Curious Incident of the Dark in the Night Time and it's written by Mark Haddon and he has written of course a lot of great books but I really wanted you to hear about this one. So I'll just get going. The Curious Incident of the Dark in the Nighttime is a murder mystery novel like no other. The detective and narrator is Christopher Boone. Christopher is 15 and has Asperger's Syndrome. He knows a very great deal about math and very little about human beings. He loves lists, patterns and the truth. He hates the colors yellow and brown and being touched. He has never gone further than the end of the road on his own. But when he finds a neighbor's dog murdered, he sets out on a terrifying journey which will turn his whole world upside down. So if you want to stick with me, I'm also going to read you a little bit of the beginning of the story. So bear with me. It was seven minutes after midnight. The dog was lying on the grass in the middle of the lawn in front of Mrs. Shear's house. Its eyes were closed. It looked as if it was running on its side, the way dogs run when they think they are chasing a cat in a dream. But the dog was not running or asleep. The dog was dead. There was a garden fork sticking out of the dog. The points of the fork must have gone all the way through the dog and into the ground because the fork had not fallen over. I decided that the dog was probably killed with the fork because I could not see any other wounds in the dog and I do not think you would stick a garden fork into a dog after it had died for some odd reason like cancer for example or a road accident but I could not be certain about this. I went through Mrs. Shear's gate closing it behind me. I walked onto her lawn and knelt beside the dog. I put my hand on the nozzle of the muzzle of the dog. It was still warm. The dog was called Wellington. It belonged to Mr. Shears, who was our friend. She lived on the opposite side of the road, two houses to the left. Wellington was a poodle, not one of the small poodles that have hairstyles, but a big poodle. It had curly black fur, but when you got close, you could see that the skin underneath the fur was a very pale yellow, like chicken. I stroked Wellington and wondered who had killed him and why. My name is Christopher John Francis Boone. I know all the countries of the world and their capital cities and every prime number up to 7507. Eight years ago, when I first met Chioban, she showed me this picture of that, this one. And I knew that it meant sad, which is what I felt when I found the dead dog. Then she showed me this picture. And I knew that it meant happy. Like when I'm reading about the Apollo space missions or when I am still awake at 3 or 4 in the morning and I can walk up and down the street and pretend that I am the only person in the whole world. Then she drew some other pictures.
But I was unable to say what these meant. I got Siobhan to draw lots of these faces and then write down next to them exactly what they meant. I kept the piece of paper in my pocket and took it out when I didn't understand what someone was saying. But it was very difficult to decide which of the diagrams was most like the face they were making because people's faces move very quickly. When I told Siobhan that I was doing this, she got out a pencil and another piece of paper and said it probably made people feel very... You can see it? Yeah, this one. And then she laughed, so I tore the original piece of paper up and threw it away. And Siobhan apologized. And now I don't know what someone is saying. And now if I don't know what someone is saying, I ask them what they mean or I walk away. So I hope I started to interest in this book. Show you again. Voila, it's a really good read but a really special boy who has Asperger syndrome, which is not quite an easy illness to call it that way so yeah and I like it because it makes you understand more how it is for people around them and how it is for the person himself who has Asperger syndrome so it's always good to have a better understanding of the world and the people so yeah thank you for joining and have a good afternoon morning evening wonderful day whatever bye